So yeah, the, you know, the history of the Fike family, I'm Del Fike. Um, I'm, I'm one of the least notable Fikes in, in the whole group. Um, come from a long line of people that really want to make a difference in agriculture. Uh, my dad was very forward thinking, not, not necessarily on the technology side and things like that, but really how to make uh, the farming system, agriculture, the cattle side of things, uh, all better for you know, families and communities. And so we followed in that path um, through a lot of different ventures. My family's been uh, in the seed business for over 50 years. My dad sold uh, Pioneer for 25 years and Garst uh, for another 25. Uh, I have a real respect for you know, the history of agriculture and that's why the Garst seed deal was, was so very important to us. Um, when the split came with Pioneer, we we stayed with the Garst family. My sisters, I have three older sisters, they can they can tell stories about picnics when, when old Roswell Garst, you know, when you think of somebody of that magnitude in the in the agriculture world, uh, they talk about him laying on a blanket telling stories with the kids. Uh, you know, we've lost that in agriculture and uh, to bring the family and community back into it is very important. Uh, and you know, we've, we've come through a lot of different paths that you know my dad started out you know 500 acre farmer and 100 cows and 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 sold seed and sold bulls when back when pioneer had had a beef cattle herd and um, that went into a lot of different things we had registered her for cattle for 70 years and 1984 we started to uh, build our own composite which we trademarked that composite breed of cattle call them graze masters Used to farm several thousand acres. Uh, I think I'm a big offender of, of a lot of things that were wrong in agriculture. It's probably what's made me qualified to see what we need to do and, and change. And so that's where we're at now. I'm, uh, I, I've consulted uh, profitability and regenerative type operations in 42 states, Canada, Mexico, about 250 clients, 249 of those for 100% success, and I'm still working on the other one to make them a success. So we're very, um, very focused on when we get the soil right, we're gonna change all society. The family improves, community improves. Uh, resources are very, uh, you know, very finite, something that God gave us that we need to really take care of. and. Quite frankly, in agriculture, you haven't done a very good job, and I want to, I want to help change that. I, I think it started a long time ago. I kept getting these free pens in the mail. I'm like, what is this company that's got such a budget that can send all these pens to me? And I was just like, I was enamored by Rio, and I really was at that. I, you know, I'm half joking, but I, I was at that point. Um, you, you can tell things that are different. You can tell companies that are different. You can tell people and operations that that really are striving to do something different and uh, so I started to follow Rio and you know, I, I, apparently I'm a slow learner because that was a long time ago and and now we're finally sitting here um, you know talking about how I've implemented you know the Rise of Green product and when I when I talk about a new product with any excitement people think there's a fair amount of validity to that because We've tried a lot of different products on the soil health side to improve profitability, to make, you know, whatever better. And, um, you know, we found a few that have worked uh, to some degree. We found a lot of them that didn't work. And when I learned that Rio had this product, this Rhizo Green product, I'm like, that sounds kind of futuristic, but it sounds like it's something I need, like, right now. And... You know, like I say, we've tried a lot of different products. I've been on every type of soil type in nearly every state. I've got to see how things, um, a lot of things have fallen flat on their face, a few things that have worked. Uh, we tried the Rise of Green product here. Uh, it blew us away. We tried it um, more on a very limited test type basis because it was late in the year and we had applied a lot of other biologicals the cool thing about Rhizogreen, I don't look at it as 
a biological, I really look at it as a profit-centered type input. This operation, we do not like inputs. If we're putting inputs into things, we're really wondering, you know, A, do we really need it? And B, you know, do we need it in the long run to keep this operation going? So the really interesting part about it is we saw instant results with the Rise of Green product that we had not got to see with any other product. So instant results were better growth, better health, better nutritional value. And when we can see it, and that's one thing, a lot of biologicals work, but you have to look in the soil, you have to look at the roots, you have to look at a lot of different things. When you can see a product really improve something right away, so you're back to what the ears can't hear, i.e. like people telling you all the time, this is better and this is better. What the ears can't hear, the eyes can't deny. We got to see firsthand that this product works, you know, visibly. We got to see it through the cow herd that in these areas where we applied it, went to it first. The indicators are above ground and below ground on the profitability scale. So we know we were making more money just with the growth, healthier product, you know, and I'm, I'm positive that the cattle really um, developed a better shine to their coats and things like that. A lot of things that people don't think about to watch. You know, we're in a very holistic system. We tend to think a lot about just profitability, but what's it take or what is it, what do we deplete to get that profitability? Well, this is a product that we don't deplete anything. We add things and then the whole system comes around it. But at the end of the day, you know, as the name implies, a rise of green, green is money. Green is more money with a product like this. We got to see it firsthand. And, you know, we'll be using it across uh, every acre on our, our pasture, our alfalfa. A lot, of, a lot of things that people don't think about should be profit centers. And then, you know, uh, it's a no brainer on the, on the row crops and things like that. But you need to look at your operation that everything is, is, is a spot that either is taking money or making money. And with a product like the Rise of Green, we can turn marginal grassland, we can turn old stands alfalfa, we can turn, you know, corn on some depleted soil that we're trying to build up into a profit center and building that soil right along with it, with a product like Rise Green. So another interesting thing, or something I get to see a lot, because I do get to travel all over the country and, and see different crops and different soil types and things like that, is very seldom would you have a product that works on all different crops. So there's products out there that work great on corn or on beans or whatever. Well, you know, the farmer or rancher's got enough to think about without like, hey, is this a product that I can use on this? And do I have to get another product on that? What it does is, you know, the Rise of Green really closes that whole portfolio of, hey, this is something that you can't screw up. You can go put on anything from something in the in the Delta to something in, in uh, you know, back east to, to California, it's, it's gonna change the whole dichotomy of what that soil's doing and what those plants are doing. And now is, is probably one of the most critical times in, in recent history that we need to be looking at things that really maximize or optimize that money we're spending and, and helping us with maybe not having to spend so much money on the other side. When we just look at like the benefits of what this product does, we've got to see it here. Uh, you know, we can reduce our nitrogen needs by at least 15%. Uh, and we've just, you know, got to see it across the board. Um, and compared to a lot of other products, you know, those products just don't have that kind of bang. They don't have that muscle that's really going to help, uh, you know, make that profitable, have a little reduction, really start building the soil. Like we say, we, we've used a lot of different products. We've we've got to see some that have kind of worked. Uh, you know, this is a home run for for relieving some of that stress that everyone is that that they're dealing with now. You know, if I could have a product in every parts of my operation that come and tell me that hey, you know, we're going to reduce this much of a headache. We're gonna we're gonna really add some value. By, by not doing anything different than dumping it in, you know, a sprayer that we're already using anyway. So when we think about how that all ties together, you know, the, the last thing we need is to be thinking more and wondering if a product's gonna work. 
we need to know that, hey, guys like me that have been around the block a few times, got to see everything that didn't work, are telling you guys that this is a product that really works and you know, it's, it's why we're using Risergrade. Yeah, we talk a lot about, you know, what can really correct things that are going wrong or what are the issues that we're running up against. And, uh, you know, if you read a lot of history, you know, ancient civilizations or civilizations throughout history have, have risen and fallen from the depletion of soil and, and water and resources like that. I'm a firm believer that if we get the soil right, we start to change all of society. And, and when, I, when I change all of society or say we change all of society, it's we're understanding that that soil, you know, that we stand on is, is one of the most beneficial and important things to really start building family and community and things like that. It's, it's a holistic approach and it's a, an approach that we we don't often think about and we need to think about more. So all of a sudden that legacy isn't adding 2,000 more acres to your operation. It's taking care of what God gave us and really optimizing the acres we have. My legacy will not be I'm owning thousands and thousands of acres. You know, my legacy is if, if we can teach people how to make it better, if we can help them understand that there's products like Riser Green, things like that out there that can make their operations better. The legacy changes, the dichotomy of the legacy changes. And all of a sudden, we're not thinking about competition as much as we're thinking about community. My grandfather, Adolf Fike, said the day the horses left and the tractor came, was the day we replace community with competition. And when we think about that type of, that's a pretty profound statement, because he got to see, as I did when I was young, in a lot of ways, got to see everybody working together. Just like in the soil, things need to work together. Just like in all of environment, things need to work together. Our finances, our family, Main Street, all has to function in a very collective manner. Well, there's not too many companies out there, you know, that are trying to do that, or even with the understanding that, hey, if we do this much better with this product, it's gonna make that farm better. Not talking about profitability for the company, they're talking about, hey, we're gonna make it better for the family, for the community. Everything falls into place, and it's a beautiful way to, to think about it, and it's an important way to um, maybe have the goals of one's own legacy you know, that it is a really big picture. One thing I always preach or talk about is uh, making a difference. I only use products that make a difference. I have nothing but my reputation that what we use and what, what we tell people that works and what doesn't, you just, you just need to try to make a difference and that's what that's what we're doing with things like using Rise or Green, like working with, with Rio, like working with the good people that are gonna make a, a difference. Every day, you gotta make a difference in some way, shape, or form. I had a, one of my dad's best friends um, was a great mentor of mine, and he always told me, he said, don't be ordinary, we've got enough ordinary. Go and make a big difference. And that's what we're trying to do, that's what, you know, a, a product like the Rise of Green through Rio, it, it's making a difference. So every day you gotta make a difference.